All right, it's Friday night. I'm pretty well loaded up. And the V-dubs making a departure. Should be fun. Should be a fun trip. All right, it's pretty early Saturday morning and we're fixing to move out. Right? Right. That's kind of an oxymoron there. Well, it's a peach of a day. We're seeing lots of New York tags heading south. Which reminds me of a guy at work, he always says, you gotta teach a Yankee how to drive. Tell him how to head north. <laughs> <laughs> right up here on this exit is where Mrs. Heavy Chevy took out a BMW with a Honda one time. I didn't take it out. Well, you sure it gave a, it a try. It was a little tiny fender bender. <laughs> tiny. They're always tiny. Check it out. Sweet home Alabama and a rest area. I do believe I'm gonna get over in the right lane because I need to rest mm -hmm. a minute. Mm -hmm. What are you looking at, mister? I'm watching them go into the rest stop, this rest. See that girl in there with the hair down to her ankles? You know, it was okay. <laughs> That's pretty pretty, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got behind the berm. But over there is Talladega Speedway, I believe. Maybe I'll see it again up here. The berm is disappearing. There we are. It's a big old place. V-Dub's still back there. Yup. Going through Uptown, Birmingham, Alabama. You know why they call it Uptown instead of Downtown? Because it's up. This is more positive makes you notice the slums if, the, if and there is any a little less. In a half mile, use the right two lanes to take exit 124B or I-65 toward Huntsville. Something happened up there. I ain't sure what, but it involves a wrecker and a bunch of police. It's like an 18-wheeler. That's a wrecker. Oh, I guess it is. I'm glad we ain't headed that way. We're out here in rural Alabama. What was the name of that town we just went through? Parrish. Parrish. And we just passed Gunsmith Road. It's not very politically correct these days, is it? Who cares about politically correct? I'm with you. Alright, now we got to find our way back to the interstate. There was no on-ramp. Tell you one thing, Alabama sure has a lot of police. I bet I've counted at least 15, right? Probably. Hmm. <laughs> Almost wasn't fast enough. Well, it really wasn't fast enough, but that sign was welcoming, welcoming us to Mississippi. <laughs> we have some friends in Mississippi, but <clears throat> that's in Hattiesburg, so we ain't got time to stop there. So. Sorry about Our next uh, state, I think, is Tennessee. Is that right? Well, in Alabama, everybody kind of maintained a sedate pace around 70, 75. But in 
Mississippi, they ain't quite as nervous, looks like. They are rolling. Right there's how we should be rolling, don't you think, Mrs. Heavy Chevy? No. Except the Jeep, we'd be toting the travel on. Mississippi, and I've been noticing in Mississippi and Alabama, we didn't go through Greenville, Alabama. But anyway, the radio stations are much better. We've been hearing about Miss Emily's picture and why God made Oklahoma. Good old country music. That's right. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera off and listen to it some more. What do you keep doing down there? Every time I look in the mirror, your head's in front of you. You just mentioned something and it went by and I didn't see it, so I went to look in the mirror. Great. <laughs> I was daydreaming and missed the Welcome to Tennessee sign. But now we're in Tennessee and coming up on Memphis. Woohoo! Getting closer. You know what famous singer uh, hung around Memphis? chicken dinner. <laughs> I would like a chicken dinner. <laughs> I bet, me too. You know what Cutworm says all the time? What's that? When something's broke. <laughs> went to Memphis. Well this Ford has went to Memphis. Uh oh. <laughs> well, it's still running. Don't worry. Check the bridges out. It's pretty cool. got this sign. <laughs> Welcome to Arkansas. Bet you can't guess who we're going to see. Alright. They could stand to have a road crew around this city, I'll tell you what. <laughs> bridge right there. Oh, that was fun too. It's flat like in Ohio out there. It's pretty. I like it. I wonder if they got chrome bailers. piggyback those trucks. He said they would fill all the tanks, string uh, fuel lines from the tanks on the piggyback trucks to the main truck so they can run without stopping. I guess they peed in bottles. What's that? Legal? To pee in bottles? everything yet, yeah, but they might have. Well, I'd assume they'd have a lot for that. You know when I'm driving, when stuff just pops in my head. I've been noticing on the side of cars, it'll say 22 or 24 or even 26 big chrome numerals. Mm -hmm. Must be a law, speaking of laws, that you have to post the tire wheel size on the front fender of your vehicle. Mm -hmm. And we haven't complied. Comply. I 
think there's probably an exception since we're just passing through. We don't reside in Arkansas. Well, I didn't notice it in Arkansas yet. It was in Alabama. Oh, in Alabama? In Mississippi. And I've seen it in North Carolina, too. <coughs> Interesting. So I guess, number one, I better slow down. And number two, we'll have to get some 16s. Put on the fender of this truck. It occurs to me that I'm probably pulling that Volkswagen faster than I, it's ever been driven. <laughs> We're strolling down through here, and I'm, people are passing me left and right. <laughs> Look here. We're starting to run into some hills here in Arkansas. Wow. It was flat for a long ways. Kind of sucks driving west in the evening, but we're almost there. We made it, but the truck's trembling a little at idle. I think I got some bad fuel last stop, maybe.